Hi guys, I'm just going to do a quick video on using these 3 quarter inch hex hubs for mounting bane box wheels to uh, cordless drill motors. Uh, so these are the ones that have got the, the 3 8 inch UNF thread on the inside which corresponds with the output of the, the drill motor. Um, so obviously that just screws on like so. Um, quite freely, so obviously the threads are a good match, but well, they should be. Um, but I know PJ was having trouble with some threads not lining up. So you've got your hex adapter, you've got a bane box wheel, this has got the uh, the 3 quarter inch hex in the inside as well, which corresponds with the 3 quarter inch hex on the outside of the adapters. So all you need to do, just line them up, give it a bit of a push, and then your wheel just slides onto the hex like that. It's pretty, pretty firm on as well, it's not a loose fit. Um, so what you need to do is make sure that the adapter is flush with the boss of the wheel on this side and then on the other side just mark a line around there again flush and cut it with a hacksaw and here's one I did earlier uh, I did it in a bit of a rush so as you can probably see the hex isn't flush with the wheel boss but let's just ignore that, that was just a test one so once you've cut it you've got your hub going all the way through the wheel uh, what you need on your drill motor output shaft is a, a washer, quite a wide diameter washer, at least as wide in diameter as the boss of the wheel, uh, because that's going to stop. If I just show you, if you thread this wheel onto the onto the drill shaft, when your wheel's on there, there's still lateral movement, so you can basically just kind of pull it on and off. And it can go that way, and it can go that way. So having the washer on the inside means the wheel's pressing against that washer and it can't go that way off the hub um, and then all you need to do on this side is just take your uh, M5 reverse thread screw as per normal um, and just tighten that up and make sure that these washers here are also the same diameter or greater than the boss of the wheel on this side so that once you tighten that up that stops the wheel coming off this direction so you've got your M10 or whatever size it is, aye, 10 mil washer in there stopping the wheel going that way and then you've got your washer for your M5 screw here stopping the wheel going that way um, and then obviously because of the hex it means the wheel's locked so whenever the, the drill motor rotates the wheel's going to rotate uh, obviously the downside with the uh, using the nut insert method is that sometimes if the, the plastic inside the melted plastic if it kind of wears away just with the force the nut can start spinning inside the wheel and you lose um, you lose your bond basically between the nut and the wheel and it can also make it a bit of a pain to get off as well so using this means every time the motor turns the wheel is going to turn as well just the same as using the Bainbots uh, adapter hubs for the, the P60s gearboxes and so on um, another benefit as well which if I just get the uh, undo this screw When you use the nut insert methods, depending on how accurate it is, you can sometimes get a bit of wobble in your wheel so it spins, and as it spins it can wobble side to side. So if you look here, if I undo this wheel, you can see there's hardly any side to side wobble, it just runs nice and true. And if you compare that to the nut insert that I made for Usain Bot a wee while back, which is to be honest is quite shoddy, you can see that when it turns there's quite a lot of side to side wobble. It doesn't really affect the robot's performance at all, um, but it does look a bit kind of stupid. So if you go for these hubs and line up, you can see you get a much, much truer rotation. And there goes the wheel. Right, so yeah, that's just a quick video. So these hubs, if I can get this one out as well. I haven't had my Weetabix this morning. There we go. So these hubs, they're just 3 8 inch UNF thread on the inside for the drill motor, 3 quarter inch hex on the outside, and the Bainbox wheels have got a 3 quarter inch hex cut out. Obviously you can get these wheels in smaller diameters. These just off eBay, Technobots, Bainbots. Um, that's just more of the adapters there. So. 
Yeah, quite a nice easy way to get main box to fit on your, your drill motors uh, without having to faff about with a, a nut insert method. Uh, hope that's helped. See you later. One thing I forgot to mention as well is once you've cut that hub to the width of your fuel, you also get about that much hub left, which there's plenty of material on there if you put a cut kind of along those lines there. There's plenty of material to fill out your second wheel, so if you're just got a two wheel drive bot, you effectively only need one of these. Um, I think, I can't remember if I got mine, if it came as a pack of eight or if I just ordered that many, maybe a pack of two minimum, but basically one, there's enough in one of these adapters to, to fill out two wheels. So it's quite a cost effective way as well. And obviously these Bainbots wheels wear down quite easily. Uh, the good thing is, when they do, you don't need to get a new one of them, you can leave the hub screwed onto the drill motor, pull off the wheel, put a new wheel back on, screw it back together and there you go. So it's a really simple way of changing over your wheels as well.